we'll start things off with Bill. Hey, Tyler. Uh, so obviously a tough way for that one to end. You know, when it came down to those last few minutes, what do you think the difference was in, in what ends up being one possession game? Um, I think the difference was just who wanted it more. I know our team really wanted it, but you can't always just say it. You can't just say it. You got to show it. Um, and uh, I know I missed a rebound at the end that I should have had. Um, and she's grabbing the ball with two hands, doing all the little things. Coaches talked to us. She's like, there really are no little things. Uh, everything adds up. Um, and it's not one play at the end of the game. It's a bunch of little things that went on second half that we just have to fix before next game. But, um, I mean, I have, I have trust in this team. I know I know we all want to win. Uh, we just, uh, oh, just got to get the next one. We'll go next to Dan. Taylor, uh, the – the the starting and and then coming back against Louisville after the stop and then having to stop again um for just from a just from a readiness standpoint um in preparation when you when you finally found out that you guys were going to have this game um how did the preparation turn out for for Pitt and and was it just or was it just focusing on yourselves and and getting ready for when that next game would come mm-hmm. i think honestly it's just a little bit of both uh individually uh, while we're in quarantine, getting any workouts in that you can, watching film, um, and just honestly staying mentally okay. Then when we get back, just getting right back in the swing of things. I mean, uh, that's just kind of what this year has been about, is uh, being able to be adaptable and taking a situation, kind of just roll with it. Um, I mean, we had a really great week of practices, um, and that was just working on communication and different things like that. But um, sad to say, it's nothing new. We've had to do it uh, one time before uh, and then play a game. So, um yeah, no, it's just uh, really working on your mental toughness this year. We'll go next to Eric. You know, Taylor, you kind of talked about it a little bit, but just I know you guys are not about making excuses and, and just here is what it is for everybody. But how hard is it to come back when you haven't played to having to jump in, and into a game like that where where are the legs as you go down the end of the game? How difficult is that at the end of the game to find your legs in, in a game like that when you guys haven't played as we talked about? Uh, when it comes to games like this, it's just – if your legs aren't working, you got to find it in your heart, got to find it in your brain to understand that your body is not going to put you in any situation that you're really not going to be okay. And it's 40 minutes of basketball. And so definitely having time off is different. Um, but it's just what coach always says. Uh, you just kind of got to take the punches, roll with it, and get your legs underneath you. Just trust your teammates and do all the little things. We'll go back to Bill. I can hear the frustration like in your voice after, after this one. And obviously it's been a frustrating – you know, month or so. So as one of the leaders of this team, how are you trying to fight the frustration that I'm sure the whole group has right now with kind of how things have been playing out? Uh, For me personally, I think a big thing is just finding perspective. Um, And there are days when things might be a little more frustrating than not, but um, kind of just got to bite my tongue and just be there for my teammates. Uh, I know that I have to be tough. And so if I can have a couple minutes, when I leave the gym, it's just kind of blow off steams my mom or dad or something like that. I'll do that. But, um, yeah, the frustration is just because I know how hard this coaching staff, I know how hard all my teammates and myself, we work. Um, and this year is tough. It's not anything that anyone expected. Um, but I have a lot of trust and I have a lot of faith in this program. Uh, and we're going to win some games. We're going to win games. We'll go next to Caroline. Yeah, just um, going into the next two games that you have, how are you able to compartmentalize this loss and try to, like, bounce back from it going forward? Mm-hmm. I think a big thing going into the next two games is just taking the positives from this game. Uh, personally, I thought we had a lot of growth defensively, um, at least with our communication. We definitely need to pick it up on the boards. Um, but it's just trying to find the little things that we did well as a team and that we're getting better at and take that into next game and then, Definitely clean up the boards, uh, clean over, can clean up turnovers. Um, and so it's just a little bit of both and just realizing there's nothing we can do about it now. Got to tap our hats off to Pitt. Um, they played a really great game. They play really tough and just get a little bit of that into the next game with Miami and Georgia Tech. 